What's up guys, welcome back to another Man vs. Deer video. In today's video, we are actually doing an unboxing and a review for my latest purchase, the Vortex Viper HS Rifle Scope. Let's jump into it. What a roller coaster of a season it has been. Welcome back to the channel guys. If you are new, make sure that you like, make sure that you comment, make sure that you subscribe. I really appreciate all you guys watching. So like I said earlier, we have the Vortex Viper HS Rifle Scope and I am geeked out about this. I have a Remington 700 SPS Tactical and a 308 caliber that I'm gonna be putting this thing on. And that's gonna be my setup for big game hunting. So watch out for those videos in the future. Hopefully we'll have some elk hunts and some uh, antelope hunts and things like that. Um, and I'm definitely going to do a video where I uh, go over my setup in greater detail uh, with uh, uh, details on sighting it in and all that. But today we are doing an unboxing and an overview of this particular scope, the Vortex Viper HS. So we're just going to jump right into it and I'm going to start tearing stuff out of the box and uh, showing you guys everything that this thing comes with and what it looks like. So this is how everything ships and the stuff that's moving around in the bottom, that's paperwork. But they actually put a decent amount of foam in both sides so that nothing is going to come loose during shipping or anything like that. It's packed in here really good. So the contents of the box. We have a Vortex hat pin. We have... This looks to be like a shade cover uh, for shade relief. Uh, it screws onto the end of the scope, I believe. We have the actual scope itself, and it has a nice cover on it. We have a Vortex cleaning cloth and an owner's manual. And then we have uh, instructions for mounting, which tell you that you need to use a torque wrench and do not exceed 18 pounds of torque on the ring's screws. So that is everything that comes in the box. And uh, now we can talk about the scope just a little bit. All right, so we're gonna talk through some of the basic features on this thing. It is a four by 16 power scope. Um, it's got a 44 millimeter uh, lens on it and it's got a 30 millimeter tube. Um, it's got three different uh, knobs on it. So this side right here is a distance focus knob. I believe that's what it's called. And then you have your actual horizontal and your vertical crosshair adjustments. And all you have to do to get to those is unscrew these caps and they actually turn by hand. No tool is needed. Uh, they got a pretty stiff turn. So they're not gonna accidentally bump. You could leave those caps off if you wanted to, but just for good measure, uh, I would make sure that you keep them on there. So this guy right here is for shade relief and it is actually made to screw in to the end of the optic here. If I could ever get my hand steady. And the idea behind this is that if you're shooting somewhere that has like a heavy glare or sunlight, it, it keeps that light from getting into the end of the scope and it's gonna keep your, uh, your picture nice and clean and not as bright and it's uh, just uh, known as shade relief. So there's a couple of reasons I bought this thing. The first thing is, is that Vortex has a forever warranty. Break it on purpose, smack a sibling with it, take a tumble down a cliff, they are gonna replace it, no questions asked. And that was a huge, huge deal to me. Uh, the second thing is that besides that, it's just built to be rugged. Uh, they put a scratch resistant finish on the outside of it. I believe they call that, oh, it's on here, Armor Tech. It's got an Armor Tech uh, protective finish on the outside of it. So it's gonna keep it from getting scratched, dented or dinged. Um, the inside the lenses are actually gas purged and ring sealed. So it's gonna keep it safe from anything that the elements have to offer, i.e. it's not going to fog up or, uh, or cloud up or anything like that. This particular scope actually has XD Extra low dispersion glass and that's a fancy way of saying that your color fidelity and your color resolution 
are gonna be a lot crisper and better than uh, similar optics in its price range. This thing is actually made with one single piece besides the moving parts of aircraft grade aluminum. Uh, so just tying back to that durability piece. The reticle on this thing is nothing fancy. It has the, uh, I think they call it the dead hold reticle, and it's just your basic uh, set of crosshairs. It doesn't have like any hashes or tick marks or anything like that. And I bought this this way on purpose. Uh, I'm not a long distance precision shooter. The farthest shot that I am probably gonna ever take it at game animals or anything, unless I get a whole lot better at shooting, is 300 yards. So I didn't need all the hash, hash marks or the, you know, the distance indicators or things like that. Cause one, it makes the scope more expensive. And uh, two, I just don't like all that stuff in there. So this is just your basic set of crosshairs where right where the crosshairs meet, it thins out just a little bit. And then the crosshairs widen out just a touch. Well guys, that's gonna bring us about to the end of this video. I really hope it was helpful. I don't have a whole lot of in-depth information or personal experiences because I haven't actually shot this yet. This was just an unboxing overview style video. Let me know some of the different features that this thing has to offer. Uh, be on the lookout for a video in the future where I put this thing on my 700 SPS and we fling some lead down range. And then after that, uh, hopefully we'll get uh, some videos uh, hunts out there. But if you guys like what I'm doing, make sure that you uh, like the video, make sure you comment, and make sure you subscribe. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to check this out and I will catch you in the next one.